Welcome Libra. I hope this finds you healthy and safe at home. This is a general reading for Libra Sun, Moon and Rising for the month of April 2020. The messages are intended for the collective and what comes through is what Spirit has guided. If this reading doesn't reflect your situation, please check your birth chart for other prominent placements and watch those videos. They may resonate. For a personal reading or to purchase any of my Oracle decks, click the down arrow for the link to Etsy. Okay, Libra, um, during my meditation, I was picking up some um, really nice energies. I was picking up this sense of hope, um, just this really beautiful feeling of, um, you know, like everything's gonna be just fine. There's just this, this really um, reassuring energy also, um, I picked up a little bit, uh, this may not be for all of you, but there's, there's something about your, your root chakra grounding. There's something about, um, you know, stability and foundation and grounding uh, that is happening with you right now. Um, and then the third energy I picked up on was change. <laughs> change. And I know that we're all going through you know, some really interesting energy right now, being homebound, etc. But I feel like there's something that, you know, once life gets a little bit back to normal, something's going to change for you. So I'm picking that up. Okay, so let's see where we go with this. Let's ask Spirit to show us the most important areas of focus for you in April. Okay, Spirit, what do you have for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, April 2020? Most important areas of focus this month. What does Libra need to know, Spirit? I feel like there's one more. Maybe not. I'll try it one more time. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got here. Oh gosh, chaos and conflict. Is this maybe why grounding is needed or grounding is taking place? There's, there is pending change. This, this can be sort of, sort of the, um, the aftermath of something that's happened in your life or this is preparedness. Sometimes I look at this card as you have a boat ton of things going on in your life. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know, negative energy. It, it doesn't have to be, but we do have clean it up. So you may have recently been through something that is requiring you to kind of recenter yourself, ground yourself. Um, wow. Or I could be picking up the energy of somebody in your life. And then we have the card of imagine. This is my manifestation card. This is what you think is what you create. This is uh, your hopes, your wishes, your dreams. I feel like there is um, something you want to make happen or maybe something you are making happen. Coming out of a period of, of chaos and um, making something better, having hope. I, I am picking up on that. Very interesting energy. Okay, now let's look at this collection of cards. This is from the Psychic Tarot. This is Major Arcana and all the Aces. Changing it up just a little bit. Let's see what comes through for you. Spirit, what is the strongest energy around Libra for the month of April? Anything else? strongest energy around Libra. Okay, there's that manifester, the magician awareness in this deck. I, I feel like you're trying to make something happen. So, so I am picking up sort of a busyness energy. And then we have the chariot, triumph, moving forward, uh, momentum. This can be literally travel. Wow. I, I get an excitement with this. 
Okay, let's see where we go. What else can Libra expect this month? Spirit, April 2020 for Libra or their partner I might be talking to cross watchers hello and welcome let's see what's going to happen for Libra April 2020 what else spirit there's more I feel it what else for Libra Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Let's see what we have. Holy cow. <laughs> All right. I, I think I I think I know the storyline. Let's take a look. Um so very first energy soulmate you are connected to someone who is a very strong soulmate um, with this roots family history card sometimes um, this can be karmic in nature sometimes this is just um, about healing old wounds and things like that so you know maybe you've gone through some chaos there might be a situation that needs to change. We have inadequate here, feeling trapped. So, you know, yeah, we're all feeling that way right now. I don't wanna blame that um, on, you know, what's going on in the world. It could be part of it, but I feel like there's a situation that needs to be moved on from, something that caused chaos. This could have had an impact on your relationship with this clean it up energy. Um, let's keep going. You left quite an impression. So um, this is an energy of somebody feeling like your connection is um, unique, uh, like none other. Um, I'm also getting this prompts some movement and change. We have loyalty. That's a beautiful energy. I love, um, I love the togetherness that I see <laughs> with these cute little dogs. There's just there's this energy of feeling, um, you know, completely at home. That can also be this card. You know, a soulmate who feels like family, who feels like your tribe. Um, maybe this is the impact you've had on someone else and this could be vice versa okay the desire to spend time together that could be this movement if you're at a distance from someone it's beautiful energy we have marriage which is about coming together union for some could be marriage um, or marriage is involved in this situation maybe maybe this is the path you're on and love those just flew out didn't they oh my goodness I feel like if there was um, you know some sort of a, a separation a quarrel something that separated you from someone it's that's not gonna last too much longer okay Wow let's see where we go Spirit, how will things unfold for Libra and their partner? How will things unfold? What can you tell them? <laughs> I just saw the Emperor. All right, let's take a look at how this will unfold, Libra, for April 2020. <laughs> okay, well, this is someone who is... Um, embarking on a new journey this is um, you know manifestation energy as well there is uh, travel potentially coming up for someone interesting let's keep going how will this unfold for Libra okay let's look at these first before we keep going 
Wow. All right. We have the Queen of Wands energy. This is um, passion, confidence. This might be how your partner sees you um, or vice versa. There's something um, very strong about this energy too. There's a, there's a, a, a self-assuredness about this. And maybe this is coming to the realization that um, this, this coming together of this connection is uh, a pretty strong passion of your person's. Why resist it, right? <laughs> Move forward, clean it up. Whatever needs to be cleaned up, clean it, clean it up. Might be focused on money. We have the Eight of Pentacles here. This is someone who is uh, working on their foundation. It can also be an investment of time and effort in the relationship. Could be. Um, we have the world. This can be literally um, somebody at a distance from you. This is also about um, bringing things you know, to completion. The ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. So if you have been in a place of chaos or if your person has, um, I feel like there is a, a breaking away. I mean, I, I'm looking at this energy and, and feeling this, um, just this, this exit strategy, if you will, from something that isn't working, something that's kept them bound. We have the justice card, things becoming balanced. This can also be um, a, a legal something or other. If your person is married, maybe I'm picking up that energy. That might be for a few of you. But I feel like things are going to be balanced out. Yeah, look at that. Two of Wands at a crossroads. Let's see what else comes through. Anything else, Spirit, before we do a little clarifying? Wow, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Unbelievable. All right, we have the hanged man energy. Gaining a new perspective on this. I feel like um, if there has been some, some past difficulty in this connection, if there has been um, maybe immobility, or a lack of any progression. There's a lot of thinking going on. There's a new perspective to be had about this connection. I feel as though, um, you know, this is your person looking at things with a new lens, making a sacrifice if one is necessary. And perhaps that's, you know, travel, um, wrapping up something. If they were stuck in something, it's potentially, um, coming to an end with this world injustice energy. Judgment. <laughs> we know what this means. This is a huge decision. It's, it's, a, it's a big life change. It is the coming together or reunion of soulmates. This is a pretty big energy. Oh my goodness. Then we have the Page of Pentacles. You may hear news from this person. Somebody coming in to say something, to offer love, the Knight of Cups. Do I even need to clarify? <laughs> I will though, I will, because I know some of you are kind of curious about a little of this. So let's look at the Three of Wands energy. Expansion, travel, looking on the horizon. What is that about? Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here, Spirit? Oh boy. Justice repeated. Pretty strong energy. Somebody wanting to balance things out. Someone wanting, um, you know, maybe to speak the truth. Sometimes justice can represent the truth. Let's look at the Eight of Pentacles. It's a lot of major arcana in this interesting okay putting in the work getting ready to move 
um, this can be a literal move. It can be just a transition out of a, a, a rough place to a better state of things. I feel like uh, this person could be working on uh, their money. Money could be a factor here. Let's look at justice. Since it came up twice, I want to see how we can clarify this one. Is that the lovers? Oh, no. Queen, uh, oh boy, Queen of Pentacles. For some of you, this, um, this is either about someone's resources, making, making money, being prepared. This can also represent spouse. To me, Queen of Pentacles is life partner, wife. Um, so for some of you, this could be potentially um, marriage or even divorce. Wanting to make things uh, official, perhaps. Look at what's peeking out. <laughs> Hello. And the Four of Wands. All right, let's look at this Knight of Cups. I realize that, you know, the big energy here is big energy and worth clarifying. I think it also speaks for itself. I feel a huge decision on, on someone's mind. They're working toward this. A decision will be made. But let's take a look at the Knight of Cups. I want to see what this offer of love is all about. Okay. okay, we have the Five of Pentacles leaving a situation. This is a departure. Can be leaving someone out in the cold. It can also be about um, a concern about money. Um, but I'm feeling really that this is about walking away from, from another situation the world again, closing out a cycle, moving on, bottom of the deck, king of wands, being courageous, making a big, bold move. I feel like this is a big, bold move. Wow. Okay, let's take a look at the romance angels. Oh, wrong deck. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> romance angels. That wasn't the romance angels. They're both pink. Okay. I'm just so mesmerized by this reading. I grabbed the wrong pile. Okay, spirit. What can you tell Libra about the future of this connection? Oh my goodness. One more. Anything else? Wow. Okay, for those of you that resonate with your partner being married, um, there is potentially somebody walking away from that. We have free yourself. Let your friends help you. And then on the other end of this, passion and worth waiting for. Oh my goodness. All right. Unbelievable. For some of you, um, your person was just stuck in a situation that, that just isn't working. And, and it, maybe it has to do with family. Maybe it has to do with distance. But something about the situation your person is in needed to be um, alleviated, broken free from. All right. Lighted pathway. This is advice and guidance for you, Libra, regarding this situation. Let's see what Spirit has to say. For those who resonate with this, what is their advice and guidance, Spirit? Wow. 
that landed in my lap. I see what it is, and it's a nice card. Okay, anything else? Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. All right, we have reconnecting, coming back together, judgment. Yep, very nice. Nothing can stop you. Yeah, that's that chariot energy. We have healing wounds, and that's that energy here. Deep, deep wounds, I'm feeling. Can have to do with family or just life lessons that have been really difficult. This can, again, be you or your person. Complement each other. Nice. Destiny, that's the one that flew in my lap. I love that. For those of you who know me, you know that I love that. That Just the mere mention of that word, when you least expect it. There's your timing card. There may be movement, um, swift movement. The chariot moves pretty quickly. You, you may not see this coming. Very, very interesting reading. Okay. <sighs> it's really nice. It's beautiful. I just keep looking at this card. Savor it. Savor it. Okay, Libra, that's what I have for you. Have a wonderful month. Wishing you love and light. Bye.